you're just standing there. Come on, hurry up and sit down. Come on, Kanji-kun, over here. Don't worry, I won't hurt you. What about me? It turns out I'm entering this too. I must win this contest to see my dream realized. He seemed bored, so we signed him up as a last minute contestant. So you're making him suffer too, huh? Well, if he's been signed up, there's nothing we can do about it. Now, Tokun, can you lend us a hand? We'll leave Teddy to you. Me? The Nauto Teddy team's unstoppable! Well then, um... First, I need some dazzling makeup. You're right. Then I'll go borrow a makeup kit from someone. Wait! The battle begins by choosing the right equipment! <laughs> we gotta use fake eyelashes, right? Y yeah bring it on! <laughs> so it begins. Ladies and gentlemen, we now begin the second day of the Culture Festival with the ever-popular Miss Yasugami Pageant. Let's get right down to it and introduce our first contestant. She's a runaway express train who's in a born and bred and can kill with both her fists and her looks. Presenting Kanji Chan of the first year class three. <laughs> This is wrong on every level. Now, don't rip me apart for asking, but what would you say is your best feature? My eyes. Oh, a conventional answer from this all too unconventional beauty. After such a strong start, I don't know how much of a chance the others have, but here's our second contestant. An eloquent heiress of the noble Juness. She's pure disappointment from the moment she opens her mouth. Presenting Yosuke-chan of the second year class two. <laughs> I thought Yosuke Senpai would be able to pull it off. Dude, it's terrifying. I can just imagine someone like him sitting across from me on a train. Now, you look ready to win in that outfit. Do you often dress like this? Hell no! Uh, uh, <clears throat> like, no way! <laughs> Who is with this? The laughing stocks up here. What did you think this was about? I've already had about enough of this, but there's still more to come. Up next, our third contestant. She has the mildly bitter tang of the city, and she's made more girls cry than there are stars in the sky. Presenting our transfer student who's been breaking hearts in the second year, Class 2! <laughs> Senpai, why are you doing this? Whoa, I thought he was cooler than that. Sounds like your entrance is causing quite a stir. Did you sign yourself up? Damn straight. Wow, 
He was more gung ho about this than Kanji. Damn that Kashiwagi. How dare she tear away our innocence like this? Now I'm scarred for life, damn it! Our last contestant is a random, unaffiliated entrant. She's a friend of our other beauties. Calling herself king of the TV world, she's a cute, sexy little number. Give a warm welcome to Teddy Chan! Your heart. That's a boy? He's so cute. I'd hit it. And the winner of this year's Miss Yasugami pageant is the random contestant who won everyone's heart, Miss Teddy! champion, Miss Teddy will receive a very special prize. Later this afternoon, we will be hosting the Miss Yasugami pageant with actual beauties this time. Your reward is a position as an honorary judge in that pageant. Woohoo! An honorary judge? That's one lame prize for what you gotta go through. Not everyone can get that excited over a judge position. Seeing him so happy kind of makes me happy, too. Yeah, he's like over the top innocent. Eddie, how does it feel to have won the pageant and become a judge? <laughs> the long-awaited day has finally come! I decree that one of the judging criteria later this afternoon will be... Ta-da! A swimsuit competition! What the hell? Over my dead body! Aw, I didn't bring a swimsuit. That bear needs to be disappeared. Well, I doubt he has the authority to declare that unilaterally. <laughs> This is great. I love the direction this is going. Dress yourselves up as well as you can, you little brats. What is she, the rival woman on a soap opera? Wait, is Kashiwagi serious about winning this? Mr. Teddy dropped this off. He said that they're swimsuits. Hey, we don't need them! <laughs> my mature charms will win the day. I brought my own swimsuit, of course. I brought my own, too. What's with these people? Hey, let's, let's not do this. What's that? Getting cold feet? Wise of you to back out of a fight you can't win. You call yourself an idol, but you're just jailbait with no brains, no guts, and especially no figure. What? There's no way their type would be crowned Miss Inaba. Why not just let them back out? <laughs> oh, and I suppose you think you're gonna take the crown, you little snoring pig! <laughs> snoring? What are you talking about? Your face is as foul as your mouth, and your brain's as rotten to boot. We went through hell because of you! That's it! Now I'm pissed! Oh, you're going to challenge me? It's useless. Don't waste your energy. Let this be a warning to the others, too. Ugh. <laughs> You're going to lose. Now's your last chance to run away. Run away? Why the hell would we run from someone like you? Well, we did kind of run away last time. That's what I'm saying! We gotta stand our ground and get our revenge for 
that? How can we cower and hide when they're picking a fight? Yeah. Right, Rizzy-chan! Now, Dokun, we won't run from this, right? Huh? Me too? Why are you letting yourself be so easily provoked? There's no way! Absolutely no way that I'm wearing a swimsuit. You're not going anywhere. But that's not all for the Culture Festival's main event. There's still more to come in the Miss Yasugami pageant. The judging continues. Can you hear the crowd going wild? Now for our next contestants, Miss J. Sasanaka of the second year's class two. Come on out, J. Uh, um, I'm kind of shy and reserved, and my favorite food is pudding. That liar. It's steak. Thank you very much. Up next, another contestant from Class 2, Miss Yukiko Amagi! My name is Yukiko Amagi. Um, my family runs the Amagi Inn. If you ever find yourself in the area, please give us a visit. Our hot springs are open to the public year-round, so whenever you're in the mood to enjoy them, please drop by. <laughs> All right, that'll do nicely. Next up... A very familiar face from the first year class two, Miss Rise Kujikawa. Hi, hi, my name's Rise Kujikawa. I haven't been in town very long, but it's a great place, and I'm 100% thrilled to be here. So sorry that I'm not working as an idol right now. Rizette's gonna do her best, so I hope you'll all cheer for me. The real Rizette, ladies and gentlemen, in the flesh! Oh, thank you very much. Next is the mysterious transfer student of the first year's Class 1, Miss Noto Shirogane! Hey, Kanji. Here she comes. Hey, shh. Pipe down. I, I'm Naoto Shiragane. It's hard to believe I'm up on a stage at a pageant like this. This is beyond my wildest imaginings. I, I really don't know what to say. Can I step back now? And with that, all six uniquely beautiful contestants are on stage! Now, let's have our special judge, Mr. Teddy, ask them some questions. Ahem. I am Teddy honorary judge for this pageant. Please keep in mind that if you anger me, you will be at a disadvantage. Well, uh, Miss Chie, do you have a boyfriend? What? A teddy, you... Ms. Yukiko, have you ever smooched anyone before? Huh? Stop it! Ms. Naoto, where are you ticklish? I beg your pardon? Can I stay at your house next time, Rise-chan? 
What kind of a question is that? Anyways, I have a surprise announcement for you all. Wait till you hear this. For the first time ever, this year's pageant will feature a swimsuit competition. And it's all thanks to Mr. Teddy here. We'll take a brief break while our contestants put on their swimsuits and be back in just a few moments. Sound like a dirty old man. Chie Senpai is cute though. Uh, I'm sorry. Sorry for what? This is great! Wow. Yukiko Senpai. She is exactly how I imagined she'd be. this portion fine by me the fewer rivals I have to crush the better oh, well I had a feeling that would happen too bad kanji huh uh, no um well yeah but don't you think it was brave of her to at least show up in the first round yeah you're right well it's about time we voted who are you going for I gotta go for Chie. Yeah, she is pretty cute when you really look at her. Thanks for waiting, everyone! The results are in! Looking at the way the vote went... You guys out in the audience had a hard time picking a favorite. Lots of different opinions, with every one of our contestants having their own enthusiastic supporters! On the other hand, it looks like you girls were all thinking the same thing! And so, there's a clear winner! Grand prize goes to... Miss Noto Shira! Androgynous charm seems to have won most of the girls' hearts! We'd like to present Miss Naoto with her award now, but... It looks like she stepped outside. She won, even though she dropped out of the last part! <laughs> That's pretty funny. Man, losing to Naoto... Well, I guess I didn't appeal to the girls that much. Oh well. I think it's enough that we beat those two hands down, senpai. <laughs> How could I lose a beauty pageant? <laughs> Miss Kajiwaki, <laughs> I can't believe this. <laughs> <laughs> Miss Kajawagi. <laughs> oh, big bro. Ah, good thing we found you. 
I've got to make a business trip to the prefectural office, and I won't be back until tomorrow. Shame it had to fall during your school's culture festival. Nanako and I were both looking forward to it. Sorry to dump this on you, but could you show Nanako around? Would you like to walk around with us, Nanako-chan? <laughs> Can I? Thanks. Then I'm gonna get going. Have a safe trip! Yeah. You have fun too, Nanako. Okay, Dad. Hey, Nanako-chan, why don't you come over and stay at my place tonight? Huh? 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 What did you just say, Yuki-chan? Oh, a celebration at your inn? Is that okay with you? Uh-huh. I promised you guys a while ago, so yeah. Hell yeah! I'm down! Can I boil eggs in the hot springs? Oh, I should call my grandpa and let him know. It's just one night, right? Come on, it'll be fun. Everyone will be there. Can I? Hot springs. Hot springs. Let's go. I want to spend the night. <laughs> Hot springs, Yukata. Flushed skins. Are you sure it's okay? I mean, isn't it still the busy season? We've had fewer visitors this year. There are some open rooms, too. Oh, okay. Might as well, then. Man, when was the last time I stayed at Yukiko's place? 